All praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Makar Kwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson going into how these Edomites don't think that they have to pay for what they did to the Israelites, man, right, for slavery, right, and I'm just going to, like, this is a video I was watching here that Sky put up, and it's entitled um, Prince William and Kate in Jamaica, sorrow over slavery is not enough, and they're right about that, right, but what these people want to think that they can, um, what people want to try and think, and I'm not even sure that that's a quote from them, man, so like, I'm not I'm not quoting and saying that it's them saying it, but I'm saying that sorrow over slavery is not enough, man, and I'm just going to go through some of these comments and show that these devils, <clears throat> they don't care about what they did, man, because they don't think they're going to have to pay for it, and they think that how things work in the world is that you, if you're in charge and you've got the power, then you can decide what judgment you receive for certain crimes, right? That's what they think think it is, man. And let me just read some of these comments. Let me read it, man. <clears throat> Here we go. Here's here's some of the pride. It says, someone, sometime, at some point, did something wrong. I apologize. So they're sarcastic. With the, with 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 all of this stuff, man. All right, that's they're sarcastic, man, and they they really don't think that they're gonna have to pay for the things that they did. They don't think they're gonna have to pay for that, man. Let me see what this says. This do, this does nothing except continue to give people a reason to complain about things that nobody alive today is responsible for, owes anything to anyone about, and cannot be revisited and erased. The slave trade of Africans. It's, it's just another person making excuse, trying to make excuses and excuse what Dave did wrong, right? What you'll notice whenever these Edomites are wrong, are wronged, right? They don't say the same thing when they're wronged, right? When they're wronged, they don't they don't say the same thing, so they're full of shit. Just to use plain speech, they're full of shit, man. All right, because when they're wronged, you don't see them saying these say, using these same talking points that they try and use about what they did. Because the only reason why they've got a problem with what happened to the Israelites and us, us talking about it all the time is because they're the ones that did it. And they want to try and walk around the earth and view themselves as though they're nice people when they're not, though. Right? Even if you were to just go by what happened in the last 20 or 30 years, we'd still be able to say they're the devil. We'd still be able to say they're the devil. If we were to just look at the racism that they do, that, they, that we can clearly point out in the world right now within the last three decades... So they're talking about things that happened 400 years ago and trying to say, oh, no one's alive then. Well, people are alive now, though. People experience racism now, though, don't they? But these devils will say, will say, well, I don't believe that. Because what they think is that if they don't if they don't say it's, say it's racism, if they don't say that it's unfair treatment, then it ain't. But what they don't realise is that Yahara exists and that he's, gonna, he's said that it's bad and he's got a problem with it. So therefore, it's a problem. And this is Isaiah chapter 14. And verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of their world with or, or, nor to fill the face of the world with cities. So they can say it wasn't them all they want, but this scripture cuts that anyway. Because it says prepare slaughter for their children, which really it was them. Because there's such a thing as in this world, there's such a thing as reincarnation. Right? So you come back. You come back, man. You die and you're born again. You die and you're born again, man. And these devils are gonna be are gonna die and be born again into slavery under us. And since it's not a harsh thing, and since it's not a problem to do these things to people, well, when it's happening to them, there should be there should be even more civilized then, right? Since what they did was was civilizing people, when it happens to them, they're gonna be civilized, right? Since it's civilizing to do these things to somebody. This is Isaiah chapter 14. And verse 1, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And them strangers are talking about Israelite foreigners. Because what people don't understand is that when, when people hear a stranger, right, they always act stupid, man. And they act like every single Israelite knows each other. An Israelite can be a stranger to another Israelite because you didn't know him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what people don't get about it. An Israelite can be a stranger to another Israelite. He didn't grow up in the same city as you. He didn't grow up in the same place as you. He's a stranger. 
you don't know him. If I'm an Israelite and I travel over to London, right, and I'm not from London, some Israelites in London might be looking at me sideways. If an Israelite from London travels over to treat Israelites in, in Liverpool, them Scouse Israelites, they might be looked at as sideways. There's such a thing as being a stranger among the nations, man. But these people, they act stupid and act like they don't know nothing, man. They act like they don't understand that an Israelite can be a stranger to another Israelite. It's ridiculous how stupid these people are, man, with their basic talking points. The strangers are other Israelites that are going to be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob because it's their house. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Now, anyone with a thinking brain is going to know that that's talking about the so-called black people, so-called Mexican, so-called Native American, putting you Edomites into slavery, man. They would know that. But people act stupid, man. When it comes to when it comes to things, when it comes to um revenge and justice, all of a sudden people don't know nothing, man. All of a sudden people don't understand understand basic English. All of a sudden they want to try and act act silly then. You know? Let me get another scripture on this, man. Because this the, the things that you Edomites did, the slavery that you Edomites did is a stain on your society, man. And it and it's gonna it's gonna be continual shame for all of you, man. Alright, that's what's covered you in shame. Let me read this. This is Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 10. For violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So because of the violence that they did to us, shame's going to cover them, man. Alright, I'll read it again. For violence, for violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Verse 11. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried, thee, carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them, and that's talking about back in, um, during the time of the Babylonian, the Babylonian captivity, man, Edomites was there, and you can read about that in, um, first Esdras, the fourth chapter, the fourth chapter, man, Edomites was there, burning things down, stealing, stealing lands, Edomites was there in that time, man, because they've always been trying to get their blessing back, but they're not going to get it, though, and then you can also even apply it to times now. Edomites are always there when we're catching hell, man. Verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day that of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Now, isn't this proud? This does nothing except to continue to give people a reason to complain about things that nobody today is a light, nobody today is responsible for. If something happens to your family, right, and the effects of what happened are still present now, right, then it's a problem. And you can talk about it as much as you want to talk about it, right? If 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 you your family been stole had things stolen from them, and there's people still living in a land that was stolen from them, right, calling themselves you. And and your and people think that you can't talk about it. They think we're gonna not talk about what happened. Of course we're gonna talk about it. Of course we're gonna talk about it, man. Here we go. Saying sorry for something that nobody nowadays is responsible for is an utter joke. We live in an age where being a victim is something to aim for. But who's the main people claiming playing the victim anyway? Isn't it you Edomites? Aren't you Edomites crying right now, bawling about what's happening over there in Ukraine? Aren't you Edomites playing the victim right now? Even though you use it, what you do? You Edomites in Ukraine was trying to think you're going to be joining some NATO, but now you're playing playing a victim when you antagonize something, right? And now you're getting blown smithereens. But you're playing the victim over there. You're getting you're getting money donated to you over there, though. Are you not? When I went into when I'm going into Holland and Barrett, aren't I? And I getting asked if I want to donate some money over to them. Fuck them. That's what I've got to say regarding them. But in, in that playing a victim though. But they're, they're hypocrites, man. To be honest with you, they're hypocrites, man. Here we go. Um, it literally had nothing to do with them. Drama over nothing. Yeah, that's what they think. That's what they can say. If we can all say that out of our mouth, right? But listen to this, man. Right? The reason why they're trying to apologise because they know that they're going to have to pay. 
And because they're carnal, they're thinking, oh, we're going to have to pay for what our forefathers did. They can see it, man. They can feel it, man. They have nightmares about it, man. You devils, we know for a fact that you devils have nightmares about going into slavery, man. We know that you think about that on an everyday basis, man. That's why when a jet, when an Israelite is walking up to you, you want to try and test to see what your Edomite hierarchy is in the world. So you're trying to think, let me, I'm not moving out of the way. This black bastard, he's going to move out of the way from me. And then sometimes when the Israelite might jump into the road because he's a little waste, man. He might jump into the road to get out of your way, right? Or he might not even be paying attention and he might just move out of the way, right? But sometimes the Israelite might twist your neck, man. And but sometimes when you when you Edomites call a per, uh, Israelite an uh, N word, right? Sometimes you get your ass whooped, man. And that's what makes you realize that actually we can't get away with the same things that we're used to. And that's why you're out here trying to cause everyone to not want to be who they really was born as. And you're pushing all this LGBT BS. You're pushing all this madness because you want people to hate themselves, man. You don't want people to think that they are who they are. You want to try and push it on people. So where people are bogged out, man, and people are following some madness, man. But people ain't with that. People are waking up to you devils, man. People are realising that when something happens to you, you view it differently to when something happens to somebody else. So what happened in Ukraine, right? People are on the news talking about, this is painful for me. I'm seeing people with blonde hair and blue eyes. And it's you're getting all emotional about it, right? But when it's happening to other people, you don't care. And everyone's paying attention to that, man. And you're going to pay for it, man. This is Sirach chapter 41 and verse 7. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. And let me go up a bit. Verse 5. The, the children of sinners are abominable children. And they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, the inheritance of sinners' children shall perish and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. So your whole line Right, the whole line of you Edomites is got a perpetual reproach, man. People don't look at you, people don't like you, man. Right? I know you think people do. No, people like the money that you can make from dealing with you. But as soon as there's a time where they can deal and get the same amount of money or more from not dealing with you, they won't deal with you. Now I don't understand what you Edomites don't get about that, man. You're not liked. You're not nice. You're not a nice people, man. You hate you. You eat them like devils, man. But you think that you 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 think that you're good people because you're the one saying whether you're good people or not, right? Because you're proud as hell. You don't want to hear what nobody else has got to say about you, so you just go based on what you think about yourself. You're flattering yourself in your own eyes, as the scriptures say. And when you commit a crime, you say, "Well, oh, I think that I should settle what I did as a crime." By doing this You don't think well What does God say is going to happen for it You think what do you think should happen But that's your biggest mistake man Your pride man Your own wickedness Your own wickedness has blinded you This is Sirach chapter 10 and verse 30 The poor man is honoured for his skill And the rich man is honoured for his riches He that is honoured in poverty How much more in riches And he that is dishonourable in, in riches How much more in poverty And you Edomites are not honourable In your riches that you have right now so how much more are you going to be hated when you're poor? How much more are people going to spit in your face and crush your soul, man, when you're poor? How much more horrible are people going to look at you when you ain't got, a, as you like to say about other people, when you ain't got a pot to piss in? How much more are people going to look at you in that day when you ain't got two, two pence to rub together? You ain't got no cryptos, all your stocks are gone. You can't liquidate your portfolio. You're just there. You, by yourself, your sword blessings gone, everything. What are you going to do then? What are you going to do, man? Apart from cry. Every day. And you know what, man? I was I, I was going to say more on this lesson, man, but I'm going to just read this last scripture here, man. Because you Edomites are proud as hell, man. Let me read this. This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So that's what we're waiting for, man. That's what we're waiting for as Israelites to get to see you devils go into slavery, man. That's what we're thinking about. 
every day as people that believe in the scriptures. We're thinking about the day when you devils go into slavery. And I'm going to end the lesson there. All praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Makar Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. Shalom.